Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Price Action Trading School. So we are we are going to talk about trend lines and channels. My name is Nenad, and as you can see, today it's our second class. I hope that you have made some practice uh, with quadrants, with the trends, candlesticks. Now we are going further, price action, uh, trend lines, and channels. I hope that you have made some money today. Because if you traded pound dollar analysis, which I posted today, you could have made 200 pips overall. So we had a great, great uh, trading session today. GBP dollar analysis straight from POC to the target. Okay. Uh, and as, as I'm saying, uh, this webinar is recorded. It will be uploaded for future reference. But I strongly advise you to follow me because after the webinar, of course, you can ask me questions. Is, every, is anything is not clear? Before we begin, as always, our standard is disclaimer, explaining that online educational materials are developed by other markets and uh, information in this session is not suitable for everyone. If you want to get the corresponding information, you just need to visit other markets, global.com, select your country, and contact appropriate entity. Also, risk disclosure statement stating all possible risks associated with Forex market by accepting the risk. You're also proceeding further with me. <clears throat> and final part explaining that uh, other markets, UK LTD, will take no responsibility for information accuracy. This is not MUK's opinion, this is, this is my opinion only. And this webinar is for informational and educational purposes. Okay, so we are ready to proceed. We are ready to proceed with, with the webinar. So guys, as I as I'm saying, this is only this is the, the, our second uh, class, and there will be classes throughout the whole year, whole year. So definitely, uh, you need to sign up and visit all these webinars. So uh, Omid is asking, uh, he missed the last webinar price section. Uh, sure, I will share the link. I just need to remind you guys that you can uh, get up to 50% of bonus on uh, live deposit, of course. And it's actually a great thing because you will be expanding your trading margin. So it's actually, uh, it's actually a great, great thing to have. And always it's very, very useful. Always remember that. Uh, so for all of you who missed our first webinar, this is the link. Okay, and you can definitely you can definitely watch it. Okay, so that's it, guys. We can start, right? Okay, uh, so trend lines, type of trend lines, channels, and then we will go to live charts and see how we draw it on live charts. Okay, so what are trend lines? Simple explanation. Those are visual representation of support and resistance. Remember that. Support and resistance in any given time frame. Think of it as a virtual trend line because we are not seeing trend lines on the chart. We are drawing trend lines on the chart. So we actually need to imagine a line which goes along with the price. Okay. So we imagined the line and then we draw the line, but we need to draw it correctly, okay? We need to have at least two touches for the trend line to become valid, okay? At least, guys, two touches of a trend line. Trend line is a line that is drawn over swing highs in downtrend or under swing lows in uptrend to show the prevailing direction of price, okay? Demark said that three touches are strong. I'm saying that trend line is valid when you have two touches. Three touches do confirm the trend, the trend. But the thing is that the more touches the trend line has, the more powerful the move after a trend line break. Okay. Remember this: long trend lines are more important than shorter ones, and shallow trend lines are more reliable than steep trend lines. Okay, this is also very important. So ideally, 
trend line could look like this, for example, in uptrend, or let's say like this or like this in downtrend. But if you if you notice a big uh, angle of the trend line, for example, this trend line or this trend line, it's very steep, so it's not that great. Especially, I saw that some people are trying to draw trend lines as this. This is not okay. This is a sign of direct drop, not of a trend. Okay, we, we uh, learned what trend is. Okay, trend is always exact, right? Trust, pull back, trust, pull back, trust, pull back. And then when you connect the bottoms, you have basically a trend line, okay? I can be very precise with this pen. So, what are trend lines? Trend lines connect weeks, okay? Weeks are more important than bodies, especially when you're drawing trend lines. You know, we will learn about it last class. Weeks indicate buyers and sellers, okay? Buyers and sellers. When you see a week, it's a buyer here. When you see a week here, it's a seller. Okay? Okay, buyers here, sellers there. Buyers here. So we need to connect weeks. Bodies can also be connected, but rarely. So we usually connect weeks. Always important. Weeks indicate buyers and sellers. Connect bottoms with ascending line. Connect tops with descending line. Okay? So we are talking about uptrend and downtrend. Sideways movement, simple. You just need to draw two parallel lines. Okay? So uptrend is ascending line, touching the bottom of the price. Downtrend is descending trend line, touching the, the peaks of the price. And when you have, a, let's say, sideways movement, then you just need to draw two parallel lines. What sort of trend lines we use in trading? We use inner trend lines, intraday trend lines, intra-week trend lines, and sometimes intra-month. But usually when we have price action which is longer than 28 days, okay, then we are, we are referring to as intra-month. But actually those are intra-week trend lines which have a bigger uh, price movement, okay, I can say it's better to say a uh, longer price movement than 28 days. So we will we will uh, uh, learn about that right in time. So inner trend line is a trend line which has already been broken. So this trend line was good one, and actually at this point and this point. It serves as intra-week trend line. Okay, seven, di seven days of price action at least, and two bottoms. So this was good one. And then it was broken here at this point. Once the trend line is broken, okay, we are referring to as inner trend line. Derek is, Derek is asking why trend lines on weeks, not on bodies. Because Derek. I, I explained that in uh, first price action class of price action training school. I have not uh, put it uh, randomly for the first class because weeks are more important than bodies. I just don't know how some uh, people cannot uh, figure it out themselves because weeks indicate historical versus now moment price action because weeks indicate historical versus now moment buyers sellers okay weeks are more important because at this point exactly at this point selling was started exactly at this point selling was started connect these two peaks you will have double top and you see the big drop in price okay third way of selling exactly in confluence with double top another leg down okay this indicates buyers here. Body is just a representation of price action after the move has already started. But weeks do represent real-time price action. This is real-time price action. Look at these two tops here. OK? 
Okay, pins. I I I uh, taught you about pin about pins last class. Okay, you remember pins. So wicks are more important than bodies, and I use that in my everyday analysis. Okay, and uh, when you connect a trend line, you need to connect wicks. Okay, wicks always, not bodies. Wicks. It's real time price action. Okay, when you see that trend line has been broken, okay, that means that that line can be can become an inner trend line. Okay, this is a good representation of inner trend line. Trend line which has been broken. And actually, this is the example of I think this was yesterday analysis. Okay. So this exactly at this spot price came even from this spot it was sold for some 35 pips. So you see the power of POCs. Okay? But we are not talking about POCs now. So trend lines, okay? Now, this is also an example of inner trend line. So this was ascending trend line here 19 of August. 31st of August, so this is this was a good ascending intraweek trend line. But because intraweek trend line has been broken at this point, it has become inner trend line. And you can see here, we will be talking about X crosses on our next class. So here at this point, you see a perfect confluence of inner trend line with a pivot point and previous stop. This signifies so-called X cross. Okay. So this trend line has been broken at this point here, and you see how the price respects it. And if you remember the analysis, yeah, the price went a little bit upward to exactly here, this spot, but it was sold for some hundred pips afterwards. Inner trend line, another example of inner trend line. So you can always use it on any time frame. Actually, this should be a little bit lower like this. But exactly at this spot here, it became inner trend line. And you see, you see the reaction at inner trend line here, how the price is jumping up. So inner trend lines are very important. Now, from the concept of time frame trend lines, we need to distinguish between intraday trend line, intraweek trend line, sometimes intramon trend line, but intramon trend line is a simple intraweek trend line which is longer than 28 days period. Okay. So intraday trend line, so inner trend line can become, it doesn't matter, it, it, it can become intraday trend line, it can be intraweek trend line it doesn't matter so inner trend line is not time frame dependent i i mean it's not time dependent intraday trend line is time dependent because usually it shows up to three days of price action okay carolyn is saying it's the same as support becomes resistance but trend line is not straight exactly so intraday trend line is basically has uh, up to three days of price action, okay? It's usually plotted on M15 to one hour time frame, and it marks important intraday support resistance levels, okay? So that is, that is intraday trend line. It usually marks important support resistance levels, okay? Now, intraday trend line can also be, as I said, inner trend line, but do not think about it now. Up to three days of price action is inner trend line, is intraday trend line. But you don't need to remember this now uh, just randomly, okay? It's important to, to understand the concept of trend lines. And just for your reference, you can refer to uh, the trend line as intraday or intraweek, okay? Uh, this is intraday trend line, and this is another example of intraday trend line. 
the question uh, for a trend line, when do you expect price action to bounce it and when it will cut through trend line? Uh, well, if you've been following my analysis, I always use confluence points. So trend lines are not enough by themselves. You need to use confluence points, okay? Uh, particularly trend lines has, have the power to reject the price, but uh, I'm not expecting anything. The only thing which I expect is that price comes and hit my point of confluence and then give me pips. That's the only thing which I expect from the price. Trend line by themselves are used with other confluence points. We will learn about that through our, through our course, but at this point, it's important for you to know that uh, trend lines indeed reject the price. Okay, they can reject the price and they indeed reject the price. So intraday trend line. Now intraweek trend line usually you can plot it easily on one hour time frame, but you can also plot it on four hour time frame. Intraweek trend line is supporting the trend during week time price action. Price action usually 7 to 28 days long okay this is the example of intraweek trend line 3rd october 10th of october trend line was confirmed here at 6th of october so just watch the timeline at this particular example 3rd of 3rd of october we had a start of price action okay 6th of october the trend line can be drawn and rayed out. I will show you how to draw and how to ray the trend line. So at this point, this was intraday trend line. At this point here, the third touch, it has become intraweek trend line. So 7 to 28 days long, trend lines are intraweek trend lines. Okay, at this spot it has become inner trend line, but because price has rejected from this point, this trend line should be drawn, redrawn, for example, like this. Okay, so redrawing trend lines is a normal thing when they become broken and retest is not successful. The other example of uh, intraweek trend line is exactly at these two spots. 3rd of October here, okay, 16th of October here, upper trend line, you see it here, and you see how it rejected the price, okay? So this is inner trend line effectively, and from this point, to this point, it was seven days of price action. So this is inner intraweek trend line. And afterward, the price jumped up. So those are trend lines. We will see that also live chart after I finish with slides. Okay? If you have any questions now about trend lines and something is not clear enough, I will be very glad to answer questions. If everything is clear, we can proceed. Okay, so no questions. What are channels? Channels represent the tops and bottom in the price of a particular pair. Those are areas of support and resistance. To create an up channel or ascending channel, draw a parallel line at the same angle as an up trend line and then move that line to position where it touches the most recent peak. I will show you how to draw channels and it's always best to use equidistant channel. To create a down descending channel, draw a parallel line at the same angle as a downtrend line and then move that line to position where it touches the most recent bottom. So we are distinguishing five types of channels, ascending, descending, horizontal, equidistant, MA channel. Okay, we will cover it. So this is a simple explanation of up channel, ascending channel. The price has been contained within the channel. 
and it respects its boundaries. This is a good representation of downward channel line, okay, where price is following a trend zigzag and rejects from channel boundaries, okay. This is an example of a sideways channel. So you see the slope is not very angled to the downside, but it looks like this is indeed some sort of sideways movement. Okay? So up channel, down channel, sideways channel. Okay? Now, yes. Ella is saying rejection means bouncing from the trend lines. Indeed, bouncing from these trend lines. Now I will show you how to draw trend lines and channels. Okay, so how to draw channels, how to draw trend lines, how to make a proper equidistant channel. Okay, now let's open live chart example and let's draw those channels. Okay, guys, let's open the chart. Okay, here. Oh, okay, here. So, simple usage of a trend line is that you just need to connect two, let's say, tops at this point. So, connecting this top and this top is giving you a trend line. Now, when you left click the trend line, then right click the trend line trend line properties, you can see it here, ray. When you ray out a trend line, it will become in, indefinite on MT4 chart. Okay? This is how it looks like. It is called raying out of trend line. Okay? Right click, trend line properties, select ray. This at that time, you can easily define when trend line will, will become broken. So, once more, let me repeat. Normal trend line is not rayed out. This is just a visual representation of a trend line. Okay? Now, when you right-click it, then tr pl press trend line properties, click on ray, the trend line will be rayed out. Exactly at this spot, we saw breakout, retest, continuation. A scholastic example of BPC pattern. Okay? So we will learn about breakouts, of course, during price action course. But this is a scholastic example of price action. Okay? So breakout, retest, and at this spot, it was continuation. Okay, so double click, yes, you can double click it, but I usually immediately, when I double click, I click right button. There is no general time frame, Rohan, because this is price action. Price action exists on every single time frame. So it doesn't matter when it will happen. You're, you, I'm teaching you how to read the price. You can even put a trend line on one minute on one minute time frame. Okay, this is one minute. The only difference between monthly and one minute is this candle has 700 pips in it, and the same candle has, for let's say, four pips in it. So there is no general time frame. You cannot read price action only at a single time frame. By knowing core price action principles, you can apply the logic to any time frame, to any and every single time frame. You just need to apply the logic behind price action, nothing more than that. Okay? Here we can draw exactly a big sloped trend line. We can also use this 
to draw some form of a channel here. But we are not talking about channels, we are talking about trend lines. So this is your what? Intra day trend line. Five days of price action is something in between intraday and intraweek, but you can use it on one hour to represent intraday. Okay? Here. It's not exactly wedge. Let's don't let's not confuse our uh, students now. It's too steep at this point. It's very very steep. But for the sake of the webinar, we are talking about trend lines, and we will be showing trend lines and channels only. Here, as you can see, you can make another trend line, one, two touches, and here exactly at this point, it was broke. Okay? Okay, here. Very easy to spot trend lines. Really, this is very easy. You can see an inner trend line here. Okay, here at this spot it has become inner trend line. Okay, let's find another example of inner trend line. This trend line has become broken and at this spot it has become inner trend line. This is a normal trend line. Here you can see the power of trend lines, guys. Look how it rejects. Look at this. And you see, this is now inner trend line here and here. And look at this. Power of inner trend line. Look at this. Well, Carolyn, Carolyn is saying many... Many are saying that trend lines are good, but not as reliable. Well, I always use confluence points, Kathleen, not just a single trend line. I always use various confluence points, okay? Uh, Raymond is asking, can we ignore some weeks to draw more perfect trend line? For me, a perfect trend line is a trend line which connect weeks, but yes, if weeks are very, very close, you can, of course, ignore a perfect, perfect touch. See it here? It, it isn't a perfect touch, but of course you can say this is a touch because it's very, very close. Here, it's very close. Even you can move it like this. You can easily move it like this and you have a perfect trend line. Okay? But you need to use weeks. If there is no wick, you can use body. This is body, you see? This is small wick, very small wick. And this is, indeed, this is a wick. But just observe price action. What did I teach you? Past plus present equals to future. One plus two equals to three. Right? 1 plus 2 equals 3, 3 plus 2 equals 5, 5 plus 3 equals 8, and so on. That is the same. Past and present equals future. This is past, this is, let's say, present, and look what happened in the future. Perfect rejections from inner trend lines. They are very reliable. And every trend line, Carolyn, is deemed as support or resistant line. It just depends of, of the uh, location of the trend line, whether it is a support or resistance. But have in mind that every single trend line is treated as support and resistant line. But we need to use other, of course, confluence points for better confirmation. But just Watch how this trend line is strong. Past, present, future. Look. Perfect 
though I love these trend lines. And that is why my analysis is 80 to 90% successful because I use a whole bunch of price action indications to measure past, present, and future movement. So no one can tell that support and resistance lines, the trend lines are not reliable as support and resistance lines. They are, but they cannot use, use, be used just by themselves. We need to use other confluence points. Even if you use it by themselves, you will still see good bounces from trend lines. But ultimately, you want to align it, you want to align it with uh, other price action confluence. Okay? Now channels. I will teach you how to draw because I know that there are some uh, a lot of there are indi a lot of indicators uh, which uh, show you uh, basically uh, a channel uh, they draw channels automatically. I'm not sure if I have some of the indicators. I I think it's called SHI channel, but I'm not sure. Here it is one of the indicators okay this is it one of the indicators which is basically showing you the channel there are a lot of indicators out there really but i don't use it the only thing i use is manually drawn equidistant channels okay when I spot a channel, I will use I will use equidistant uh, channel to plot it. I will show you how to draw it. Okay, here. First, you need to see a zigzag and to spot a zigzag. Insert. Channel equidistant. Here, you can spot some nice movement here. So you just need to connect two points. So always connect two points. One point, second point. Now the upper part of equidistant channel can be moved like this. You just need to spot where it will. Okay, this is uh, an equidistant channel. Okay, so you see how it detects false breakouts. Okay. Out, pin outside the channel and then price back in the channel. Okay, you use it also for breakouts. Rohan is asking, it's a past data. How we can identify what will happen in the future? Suppose there are no future price movement given. Well, uh, Rohan, if you followed my analysis, I always indicate future price movement, right? You don't know what the future will be. That's why you use technical analysis to actually uh, predict a future or let's say to actually align past and present for uh, the future moment. Because if you, if you read my analysis or other analysis every day, every single of the analysis is a form of prediction, right? So we expect the price to be sold we expect the price to be bought, right? And this is the example, a very good example. We'll show you now. Okay. As you, uh, anal analytics, technical analysis. Let's say a last example. That was this one. Okay, I didn't know where the price will go, but I did the analysis yesterday, okay, predicting that the price will reject from this point or from this point, whichever comes first. So I use my knowledge of technical analysis to predict price movements. Okay, so that's it. So now at this point, you should know how to draw equidistant channels. Let's find another example of up, up channel. Okay, this is 
equidistant channel here two lines okay from this spot you have one touch two touch and two touches here and exactly you can see how it respects the channel lines okay you see the respect here okay 15 minutes but look at this so channels and trend lines exist on every single on each time frame okay let's use for example one hour chart okay it's easily to define sideways movement see and bang first this is your first support retest continuation easily it's not hard but of course this is what you can apply to your charts it doesn't matter of the time frame when you see this you never connect wicks this is good example because you just need to place a line because at this point there was a strong buying here at this point strong buying here so you you cannot place a trend line like this it doesn't have any power the only valid trend line could be this Okay, this this one. One, two, three touches. Breakout, retest, continuation. Okay. This is ascending trend line. Okay, ascending trend line. At this point, it was broken, retested. And here, after a continuation signal, it has been renamed to inner trend line. Okay, so at this point, this is effectively an inner trend line. Bang, bang, bang. Okay. Now the question, how do you know where to put middle horizontal line? Because I'm observing price action. I'm observing price action. You need to define a movement. This is sideways movement, very easy defined. Okay. Here, let's say that you're watching this part of the screen. Okay, here. I would immediately place my trend line here. look how it respects look almost to the pip euro yen for example equidistant channel here and you you use equidistant channel for breakouts guys i will show you that when we come to breakout section but this is how it's done see the power of equidistant channel one touches two touches three four in the future here one touch second touch this is also almost a touch and look at this breakout retest look how it's straddling straddling the trend line it is straddling the trend line look and then retest bang it goes down okay so it's very easily defined and it's very very good for spotting price movements okay so at this point guys you can ask me questions if anything is not clear but i think that 
it's very easy for you to understand this because this is very basic we will go through a lot of classes to reach actually the point where you will be able to use price action effectively because the course price action trading school will last throughout a full year one also this example look at this when you see double top or triple top you immediately place a horizontal trend line over there immediately okay look at this double bottom so you have one two three touches you have one two is the same when you see a trend line basically this is just a horizontal trend line one two three touches one two when next time this breaks you expect that it proceeds to go down and it happened here okay uh bd is saying for a candle week with a long week do we ignore it yes bt when you see a big week as we had on dollar swiss uh I think it was dollar Swiss example you ignore it because it's very hard to trade and you cannot be very accurate with it so you ignore it indeed okay Kelly is saying I wish this school was two three days a week I'm very eager to learn more well Kelly uh, we have one uh, session recap we have a price action training school and we need to reserve the third uh, for our mutual webinar so at this you need to be patient and maybe if you are not patient that is why you are losing in forex trading maybe you understand a lot about price but it's not just price it's patience you need to be patient guys always always and always patient is something which ultimately ultimately is saving your account because not every day is for trading I'm waiting for uh, dollar Swiss to hit 96.30. If it happens, okay. If it doesn't happen, well, what can I say? I won't do a random trade unless I'm scalping. So that, this is how you do it. Very easy, very straightforward, guys. One more example. And then if there is questions, I will answer it. Okay, one touch. Here we have second touch, one touch, okay, here, second touch. You see, it's, it's easy, it's not that hard, right? And you see the respect after it. Double top here, almost, well, almost a double top. And you see how it respects. No, it doesn't go back in the channel, okay? Great, Kellen is saying he made great pips today. Well done. Well done, Kellen. So you can even use it on daily time frame. They even on daily. Let's use a blank template. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Strong, strong, strong uptrend. Inverse head and shoulders. Left head, right shoulder here. And exactly at this point here, after a breakout, we have, we even, you don't need to draw a channel. You just can place a trend line. Look how it respects. At this time, you didn't know if it will be respected in the future, right? Look. <laughs> the power of price action and the power of trend lines text no yeah Kelly is saying textbook trend line indeed you don't need to draw a channel this is so simple okay a left head right shoulder right inverse head and shoulders breakout bang continuation and trend line is confirming the uptrend on euro cat this is strong uptrend indeed very strong 
Okay, guys. This is everything I had for you today. So you need to do your homework, as always. So today we learned about trend lines. We learned about channels, weak versus strong trend lines. Homework. You need to practice drawing, ascending, and descending trend lines. Practice it, please. Practice drawing equidistant channel, guys. Equidistant channel, which is, which is very important in price action trading. And next class, we will be talking about price action trading school support and resistance, including X crosses. Okay? How to define support and resistance with X cross? With this, we need to use an indicator. I'm sure that you all have indicator. If not, next time I will send you the indicator after the class. And we will define how to find support and resistance, including X cross. Okay? So thank you guys for listening. We are going step by step. So you need to be patient. When you are, when you are studying something, at least in my country, you need to study four years and then you can uh, apply for a master, which is additional year usually. Usually, when you go to elementary school, you need to attend eight classes, eight full years. So, price action training school will last a whole year. So, step by step. Ella is saying, question about pound dollar, do you think that it will go down? If 55.50 resists, yes. If 55.50 is broken, I think it will proceed to the upside. Vincent is asking, what day is next class? Next class is after two weeks so it's always wednesday but two week time so we need we have two uh, week break time and then every second week on wednesday is price action training school i will schedule uh, on admiral markets website today or tomorrow so you will be able to apply immediately okay for next classes so tomorrow probably it will be up on uh, live on Admiral Marcus website so you will see my October webinars okay guys thank you I will be here with you soon follow me as always follow Admiral Markets use Admiral Markets great platform to F and use our analysis to make pips thank you guys talk to you soon cheers <laughs>